The build scan provides an enormous amount of data about your build, but sometimes you may want to include other information, such as domain-specific details or properties of the CI environment that are not automatically included. Custom values can be easily added to the scan using a couple of different methods. You can update your Gradle build script to add the values on demand by using the buildscan.value directive. Since build scripts are either in Groovy or Kotlin, you can use the full power of the language to calculate the values that you want to include. For instance, if you want to view the Java home environment variable that was used during your build, you can use a system.getENV call to populate that. Upon adding the directive to your build script and running a scan, you'll see your new value included. Alternatively, you can use the dash d scan dot value Java system flag to add custom values to your scan. Just enter the key and value as a suffix to the scan dot value flag. Any value that can be resolved on the CLI can be used here. In this example, I'm setting a value called path to the working directory environment variable. Commonly, CI systems will inject values into the environment that are useful for tracing the build back to parts of the pipeline or source control. You can insert logic into the build script to extract these details and include them into the build scan. When the build scans run within their CI environments, they'll populate the custom values and they'll be visible in the scan. For more ideas on what can be added, check out the Gradle Build Scan Recipes project on GitHub, which includes a ton of useful pre-configured values. In addition to the extra values added in this view, you can also add searchable tags to your build's metadata and links to the top of your build summary. Just like before, you have the option to add these via build scripts or by adding system flags on the command line. Use the buildscan.tag directive, followed by the text of the tag you wish to use, to add the tag to your build. Upon running a new scan, the tag will be displayed at the top of the summary pane. Clicking the tag will open a search for other build scans matching that tag. You can also add a tag via the CLI by adding a tag name as the suffix of the scan.tag system property. Links can be added to the top of the summary pane by adding the buildscan.link directive. Add the label for the link, a comma, and then the URL that you'd like the link to resolve to. Users will often link to the source code repository, CI build status page, or release notes, but there aren't any limits here. Links will appear with their associated labels at the top of the buildscan dashboard upon completion of the build. You can also add links using the CLI by adding the label and URL as the suffix of the scan.link system flag. The search input field can be used to search for a particular value, whether by the name of the key or the value itself. And just as in other areas of the build scan, you can create a custom shareable link to any individual value in the view. Maven users can also take advantage of custom values through any of the same methods. You can use the CLI or update your pom.xml file or your Gradle Enterprise.xml file. Values can also be added programmatically by using the Gradle Enterprise Maven extension API. Please see the Maven extension user guide for more details on that method. From the command line, Maven users can add system flags to the build similarly to how values are added for Gradle builds. Tags, links, and values can all be added from here. To add a tag, use the scan.tag system flag. For a link, you can use scan.link suffixed with the name of the link, the equals character, and the URL. For custom values, you can use the scan.value flag suffixed with the key name, the equals character, and the value. If you'd rather add these values to your XML files, you can update either Gradle Enterprise.xml or your POM.xml. In Gradle Enterprise.xml, create or locate the build scan element, which should be a child of the Gradle Enterprise parent block. Alternatively, if you're updating pom.xml, you can create or locate a build scan block inside your Gradle Enterprise Maven extension plugin block. To add a tag, create a tags element, and then create any number of tag children within that element. For links, we can create a parent block called links and hold any number of link entities underneath it. A link entity consists of a name element and a URL element. Finally, for custom values, we can create a values block with any number of value children, each consisting of a name and value element. Note that in this example, we're using a project property to populate the value of the build number key. Check out episode 11 of this series, where we'll discuss the switches and infrastructure sections of the build scan.